Gang activity in B.C. may be affected by voters in California this week. Legalizing marijuana is on the ballot. Deborah Goble reports on what it might mean here. <coughs> Unless prescribed by a doctor, marijuana is still illegal, of course, but billions of dollars are exchanged every year in this informal economy, which is why six months ago Vancouver's self-proclaimed king of pot was already warning us that change could be in the wind. If California legalizes marijuana, we will have to legalize or we will lose all our industry. Mark Emery was talking about Proposition 19. On Tuesday, Californians go to the polls, and one of the things they'll be voting on is whether the state should legalize the possession and cultivation of pot in small amounts for recreational use. That will mean a significant hit on organized crime in the province. Criminology professor Daryl Pluckus says it's gangs that would suffer the most. We right now export about 70% of what's produced in the province. Uh, most of that goes to California. Uh, there won't be the same need for that now in California, uh, therefore it's a pretty significant hit. Supposedly it can be traded, you know, pound for pound for cocaine from the states, right? And so if the price of marijuana starts dropping off, that's no longer going to be a viable option for the gangs. If pot were to be legally grown and sold in California, it's believed the price of BC Bud could go down by as much as 80%. That doesn't bother most folks over at Vancouver's Cannabis Culture Headquarters. But Brian Lawson does wonder why the B.C. government didn't do it first and make all those tax dollars that California could collect off pot sales. Gordon Campbell is going to start seeing the amount of money that's in it and, you know, the potential that that has to restore our economy after this huge recession. It might not be quite that simple, either here or in California. State and provincial legislation would still have to overcome a slew of federal hurdles. But the experts say the vote in California is expected to be close. And whatever way it goes, an awful lot of people will be watching. Deborah Goble, CBC News, Vancouver.